congratulations. And uh, I mean, how does this feel now being growing up a Panthers fan and uh, finally getting your first start? Uh, it feels awesome. I'm, uh, you know, obviously very excited and, and just ready to go. Well, I asked you in training camp if there was more pressure on you being here as opposed to being in San Diego or Houston. Do you feel there is more pressure now? Uh, not necessarily. Um, you know, I could see how, um, I could see where that would be valid, but with me, it's just, you know, I'm playing football. It's the same game that I've loved forever, so that's just what I focus on. What has Kyle told you and yet even other teammates about how you approach this game throughout this week? Um, really just do your job. You know, that's what it comes down to is just executing. I've got a lot of playmakers around me that, um, you know, I got to get the ball in their hands and, and um, you know, I just got to go out there and execute. Will, I know, you know, you're, you're, you and your dad are close. He coached you coming up. What's his reaction to you starting? Did you tell him? Did he find out through, like, the Internet? Like, how did he yeah. find out? What was his reaction? Uh, no, I told him. He was, uh, he was excited, uh, excited to watch me play. And, um, you know, just he, he has a lot of confidence in me and just was, uh, you know, telling me to go let it loose. Will you probably go up to Indianapolis this? or any other family? Yeah, he, yeah he's going to make the trip. What are your brother uh, saying about this? Uh, they're excited. They're, uh, you know, they. I told them, um, I told them as well, and they're fired up. So. Well, we always when were you people. told, and, and how were you told? Who told you, and when? Um, Scott told me and Kyle first, and um, we were told on, jeez, I don't know, earlier this week. Together? Or you mean separately? Uh, it was together, basically. Yeah. Well, we always hear everyone say, I prepare every week like I'm going to start. But now that you actually are, has there been any like in the nitty gritty of like the, just the process of being the starting quarterback, anything that's different than a normal week? Um, a little more attention to detail. Just being able to get the reps, you can uh, watch tape in a different way um, and, you know, kind of fine tune things that you're actually doing. Um, so that's been good to, to get those reps and then watch the film and be able to say, I need to, you know, do that a little bit better because it's you doing it. So it's, it's easier to kind of correct yourself watching that film. Anything in the pregame process that's going to be different or is it going to be the same old, same old? Uh, it's gonna, I'm going to stretch a lot, same, <laughs> same as I normally do. But, uh, no, I don't think anything will be different. Just How do you keep the outside distractions for the friends, the family, everything, since you are here? How do you keep all that away and separate? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, my family has been really cool about not – um, you know, being a distraction, uh, but just really being supportive. And um, but you know, it's it's you know, this is my job. I come in here and focus, and um, you know, try to win games for the Panthers. And that's when it comes down to it. That's uh, that's being a professional is just you know being able to uh, to do your job at the highest level. Well, how fired up are you, and how tough was it to be patient all year long? Um, I'm extremely excited just to you know get to go get that experience, the game experience. Um, you know, camp and, and preseason is one thing. It's a grind. It's a lot. And um, I'm excited to actually play in a real game where you play a full game and you go through different, you know, times. It's just a full, how, what a game really is. Um, so I'm excited to get out there with these guys and, and, try, and, and try and get a win. Will patience for part of it. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's part of the deal. You know, you got to prepare every, every week like you're starting. And, um, you may not, but it, you'd rather be prepared, and Cam said this, you'd rather be prepared and not play uh, than be unprepared and get thrown in there. So that's kind of the mentality I've taken all year. Hey, Will, with uh, I think maybe a little bit extra quiet space um, to work with this year than you have in the past as, a, as kind of a premier player on the teams you've been on, what have you learned about yourself during that time? Um, the... I know a, a big thing is being um, being a backup um, is is very different. Just in general, not not playing every week. Uh, there's a lot more. You're still preparing to play, like you're going to play, um, but you're not taking hits. There's opportunity for you to get better in a lot of areas that maybe you can't necessarily get better in um, while you're playing. So that's something that I've kind of toyed with and tried to learn is is how can I get better without taking these reps. Um, and, you know, throughout the course of the season, I've, um, you know, I just tried to learn how I could continue to make myself better, um, you know, I, and, and I got to kind of try different things because I didn't have to, you know, get ready to play uh, the next week. Um, so, you know, it was uh, like, like Joe's talking about, it's a lot of it's just patience and um, but learned a lot about myself. Well, your um, preseason was sort of uneven, I guess. You had some good moments and bad. What did you... 
How would you characterize it? That's the last time a lot of us have seen you play in, a, in sort of a real game. And what did you learn from it? Yeah, um, you know, I learned a lot. That was really, like you said, like my last really experience. Um, and um, I learned a lot at that time. We had just, you know, obviously with, with training camp and just everything being so new, it's, um, you know, there's a lot going on and you got to try to go out there and perform your best. But you, you learn a lot from those experiences. Um, and from that, you can kind of, as the season goes on, see what you did in preseason and see how you can do it better in a real game or, you know, how the game plan kind of helps things that you didn't have in the preseason and certain things like that. Um, so I, I just, you know, tried to take um, the good and bad I did from preseason and, and translate it to what can I do in a real game. Well, what are the things that you... the father and a husband in the league kind of helped you kind of keep things in perspective while you waited for this opportunity? Yeah, I mean, being a father was, uh, you know, it was an amazing, best thing that ever happened to me. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, just made, made me a better person, um, really balanced me out um, in a lot of ways and, and, you know, probably gave some added motivation. Um, but it's great to, to go home and, you know, have a family and just and, um, there and it's going to be there no matter what uh, it's, and supports you so much and um, it's who I do it for. Well, what are the things that you've improved on the most since that rookie mini camp without, like you said, having the benefits of live game experience and, and first team reps? Yeah, I think learning the, the offense in general just over time uh, has been great. And then, um, you know, w what comes with that, just learning how to play the game, you know, how uh, you watch tape and you watch, you know, you, you don't always have to take a shot on every play. Um, you know, a lot of my West Virginia tape is me throwing the ball downfield almost every play. Um, and that's you know not necessarily going to work in the NFL. So um, just learning uh, a lot, you know, as you go. Well, you did the one scout point team. You were a high school kid getting ready for your first start. Same thing in college, getting ready for your first start. Any recollections from those experiences, and how does the anticipation kind of compare? Um, you know, I think the anticipation is pretty much the same. I think it's really. Uh, it's the same game I've played my whole life, and it's really just excitement. And, you know, all I can do is all I can do. I go out there and give it my best for this organization. Well, the, the um, um, saying that we reminded him that you threw for 800 yards, 10 touchdowns in a playoff game, and he made the comment that if you can do that on Sunday, that we'll have to put a statue up for him. Um, do a lot of people know that? And what was that, that experience like? In yeah, um, that uh, an incredible experience. I don't know if... Uh, if I could ever do that again, um, that was an outlier for sure. Uh, just a very high scoring game going back and forth and ended up throwing for a lot of yards. Um, but, you know, I don't think I'll hit quite that much this Sunday. But whatever we can do to just win the game is is good enough for me. If you put this all in perspective, I mean, I mean, just growing up around here, watching them every Sunday and rooting on Steve Smith and everything. And now you get a chance. I mean, does it hit you yet? Is it surreal? Is it yeah, I mean, a little bit, but. Um, that isn't as important to me as it is just, you know, taking this job very seriously and, and trying to, uh, you know, give my all to this organization and to my teammates and do what I can to, uh, to help us win. What's the playbook yeah, I said that you being know. on the road might that they kind of like that idea of you not having the pressure of being here, you know, playing at home. Do you kind of like the idea, too, of getting your first start away from here? Yeah, um, I, I don't think it matters a ton. Yeah. Um, you know, it's again one of those things that as a quarterback you block out, but I could totally see the validation in that. Um, but, you know, to me, it's just, it's a football game. You got to go win. And, um, you know, wherever it is, it's it's the same preparation, same mindset. How do you, you feel like the these first two, year? how do you feel like these first two days of practice have gone getting to work with the first team? Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, it's it's been a, a while since I've got to really throw to the, to the you know, the ones, get the timing down with those guys. And, um, you know, the week feels a lot shorter <laughs> now to me. But, um, no, it's been good just getting those reps and trying to uh, trying to get ready. Um, it's really kind of putting in play everything I've learned this season and, and then actually getting to, uh, to do it and rep it. And, um, you know, just trying to focus on fine-tuning things, get ready to go on Sunday. How much of a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys.